Let's talk about elements of life. For AP Biology, you have to know a bit about which elements are found in which macromolecules and why this matters. Carbohydrates have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. These are sugar molecules like glucose, sucrose, and even longer polysaccharides like starch. But all of these substances only have the three fundamental C, H, and O in their structures. Now, lipids also have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And this would be true for the most part. For fats and oils, for instance, they only have these three fundamental elements. But for phospholipids, you also get phosphorus, so that one is the one to keep in mind. Proteins have C, H, and O, but it also has nitrogen and sulfur. Nitrogen is pretty important because of the amino group found in the monomers of proteins, but sulfur, now that's the tricky one. You see, amino acids like cysteine and methionines have sulfur in them, which can be tested on your exam. Lastly, we have nucleic acids with carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Nitrogen shows up in these nitrogenous bases, and phosphorus groups show up in the backbones of DNA and RNA as part of that phosphate sugar backbone structure. What's really critical is knowing that both proteins and nucleic acids have C, H, O, and N, but differ in sulfur for proteins and phosphorus for nucleic acids. For more information, check out the Hershey Chase experiment that used this distinction for some incredible discoveries.